All right, guys. So before I left for this trip, I didn't really want to film a video. Okay, I don't know if it's because I was probably tired. You know, I have a lot of footage in my phone, so you have to throw some videos together. But because of the winter conditions, I ended up filming some. So I'm gonna throw those together, and uh, I'm gonna show you what Hot Shot in the Winter's all about. I literally can't see 10 feet in front of me. Me and this semi truck can't see shit. Good tries. Good effort. Well, we had the, that hill. You got the ice, hill. you got the wood, you got the wood. There you go. Shit. There you Let go. You're in now. You're in now. Now. now what was your name? Stuart. Stuart. Nice to meet you, Stuart. Nice to meet you, too. Gene, right? I'm Gene. I was looking at your name, so. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, I was heading out of Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and I was going up the hill. My tires slipped for one second. I was going 20 miles an hour. They slipped for another second. I was going 18 miles an hour. They slipped for another second. I went down to like 10 miles an hour. I was like, I'm not gonna make it. I came down that hill to get into Steamboat, and it was a pretty long hill. I wasn't gonna make it. With the gooseneck on, with the Yui, and came back to town. Went to Walmart, okay, I'm at Walmart, went and got chains, okay. Something that you need to know, these chains are $107 a piece for each set, one for the front and then one for the back, and then you need the chain tighteners too. I'm gonna put these in the description, so if you need chains, uh, just go ahead and order them off Amazon, you'll get them in two days and uh, that way you don't have to find yourself in a situation like this. I'm lucky that they had some left in Walmart. Everyone's buying them right now. Anyways, I'm gonna put them on. First time ever chaining a car. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Wow, these roads are just insane. Yeah, first of all, I forgot to put in four wheel drive before I started up the mountain. Second of all, these chains make it so loud. This is what my steering wheel looks like with chains on it. Oh shit. Momentum's still keeping us going, but we are floating in the front. We are floating in the front. I can't even let go. I just read the news and uh, everything north of I-70 on Uh, everything north of I-70 in Colorado is closed. 
interstate wise so I don't know I just need to get to the summit of this hill I'm putting this in four-wheel drive ASAP they say it's blizzard conditions yeah that's more like what I'm seeing right there for some reason the camera cuts through real nicely momentum 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 I'll see you at the top all right guys we just made it to the top of i don't even know what this is called uh i'll put it on the screen it's like rabbit uh summit or rabbit ear summit like it's literally a blizzard it's literally a blizzard chains worked well okay when they say chain up chain up I'm impressed. I'm not going to take them off because I got the downhill to go, but I didn't make it up. I don't even know if I said this yet. I started going up. Okay. This road, this is like a parking lot. This is the summit. So there's like parking. It's only about one lane, one lane, and then a middle lane. I had to make a U-turn going up. I went 20 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. I'm like, I'm not going to make it. And I wasn't. The thing was 20 miles long uphill. I made a U-turn, split second decision, roll, made it. I, I kind of went in the ditch, but I, for, I floored it in four wheel. I didn't care if the gooseneck crushed my cab. I wasn't getting stuck. Went to Walmart, chained up. It worked well. Anywho, let's get on our track. Guys, I don't know what the F happened. Oh my God. Okay. Ripped to shreds. All in there. Front side too. Wow. Other side started to right here. I don't know front. I don't know. Golly! Just thought that I'd share that with you. Something went wrong with the chains, so I am not a professional. All right, guys. This. All right, I'm gonna pack it up and get on my way. As you could probably tell, I'm at a auction pickup. So after I got those chains off my tires, I made it to Colorado last night. I waited till this morning, still can't find anything. So what we're doing is a $650 car all the way to fucking Nashville, Tennessee. Oops, I probably shouldn't curse. Um, but anyways, it's frustrating, and uh, we just got to get home at this point. So there is no freight. Not even there wasn't even a cheap freight. There was no freight. So I'm gonna get on the road. That's gonna conclude this episode. Twenty-seven fifty out, six hundred fifty back, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Peace.